Hey everybody, Jimmy Eats again with another video. We're gonna do some pizzas. I think everybody on earth likes pizza. I got about three different kinds of pizza to make. Some big ones, some little ones. Everybody wants something different. And I'm okay with that because I got all kinds of stuff to put on them. I think I'm gonna do a, a chicken alfredo, uh, a, a cheeseburger pizza, and an all meat pizza. So stick around. We're gonna slap together some pizza. We're gonna put some in the smoker, and of course, my wife Lacey don't like smoked food, so hers is going in the oven. Little no, does she know that the chicken that's going on her pizza is from the smoker from the other day? But whatever, if she'll eat it, I'll make it. So stick around. We're gonna make some pizza. We're gonna get started right now. All right, so to get started, I got some meat to cook up. So I got some about a half pound of maple pork sausage, and I got a a half pound of this regular 80/20 burger. I'm gonna cook them up. They're gonna go on the little on, on Abby's little meat pizza. So I'm gonna get that cooking first. Sausage goes right here. And with the hamburger, like I said, it can go right on top. It doesn't matter. Gotta mix it all together anyway. So we'll cook them together. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot more meat than we need for one little dinky pizza, but that's all right. So Abby says she wants a little bit of Lowry sauce on her meat. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of that on her sausage and hamburger mix. I think that'll be enough. I don't measure. Just do it by eye. Go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Alright, this is done. We're going to put it in the bowl. Then throw some chicken down and get that heated up a little bit. Alright, we're going to throw this chicken breast, white chicken breast down that came off the smoker the other day. And we're going to get it warmed up. We're going to split it up real good. And then we're going to make the Alfredo chicken with this. So I got the chicken broke up and warmed up pretty good. Time to bowl that up real quick. Let's go on another pizza. And for the cheeseburger pizza, I got some 80-20 burger here. That's probably more than I need, but that's all right. So, you know me, I like a little bit of this honey sriracha. Been using that quite a bit. I'm going to put that on there for some seasoning for my hamburger. Uh, I like a little kick. A little sweet kick is nice for me. That should be plenty. Leave them chunky. Leave them big. Alright, so I got my burger cooked how I want it. Seasoned up real nice. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a bowl. Then I'm going to prep up a few veggies for some of these pizzas. Then we're going to cook them up. All right, so on the chicken Alfredo pizza, Lacey wanted a little bit of diced uh, tomato. Of course, some white sauce. Um, maybe a little broccoli, the chicken. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dice up some tomato quick, real little for her. I'm making the pizza, but she's going to cook it herself because she likes how she cooks her pizza, which is perfect. And there's a little bit of diced tomato. And next I'm going to slice up my tomatoes for my pizza, but I'm going to do big slices like on a cheeseburger, you know, not diced. So I'm just going to keep them big, try to put a little bit of tomato on every slice. Of course on my cheeseburger, <coughs> on my cheeseburger I like a little bit of onion, so I'm going to slice up some onion. I'm going to leave them big too. But instead of leaving the big slice. 
I'm gonna make them like onion rings and just do the rings on it like that. I think that'll be kind of cool. Just ring it out. All right, so for the white sauce, I just went and bought some ragu roasted onion parmesan. It's a lot easier. I could make it myself, but Lacey likes it plain and easy. So she's gonna throw a little bit in there like that. That's probably plenty. We don't measure, you know, just ask her. She'll tell you. She don't measure nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and put a scoop of this here garlic in there for flavor, a little taste to be good. Mix that up. Maybe a little more. That should do it. So I'm just gonna use this pre-made crust. I mean, it's, I know it's kinda like cheating, but you know, I'm a big cheater anyway, it doesn't matter, so. So, for the uh, chicken Alfredo, I'm gonna put some of this here Alfredo sauce with garlic. I'm gonna spread it on there real good. About like that, I think it'll be good. A little bit of the chicken. Just kind of throw it on. You want a lot of chicken, Lacey? Uh, Not too much. Not it's too covered. Much. Oh, my dog is going crazy. Here, come up. You want some chicken? There you go. Leave me alone for a bit. I don't know. Not a lot for me and not a lot for her. Two different things. Use some Monterey Jack cheese because I know she likes that kind. Put some of that on top. Lacey likes extra cheese. Everything. Cheese is life. Yeah, cheese makes you not even poop. <laughs> Right there. And then some of this diced tomato. Just kind of throw it around on there a little bit. <laughs> I use all of it. Make her suffer. A little bit of broccoli. I should put some cheese on top of the broccoli, huh? I'll throw some more on there for you. Be all right. She don't care. Not everybody puts broccoli on their Alfredo chicken, but she likes it that way. That's probably plenty. All right. I do have. This is a pizza blend cheese. I'll give her a shot of that. She'll be all right with it. GoPro, stop recording. All right, we'll sprinkle a little bit of this on top of the broccoli so it don't go nowhere. Not too much more. We've got plenty. I got some more pizzas to make here. All right, and then uh, put a little bit of flavor on top of all that. Some dried parsley flakes. It'll look pretty that way too, I think. Got the oven preheating for 450 and she's gonna make her own pizza so she's gonna be taking this out of here and I'll be making another one all right see you back with this pizza cooked in a little bit all right so now I got some of these little dinky pizza crusts I'm gonna make Abby's pizza on here it's gonna be an all meat she likes it that way so Should be fairly easy. Just a little feller like that. Okay, so she wants a little bit of red sauce. It won't take much to fill this little guy up. But she's kind of like a bird, so she don't want much. Then course a little bit of this pizza blend cheese she don't like quite as much cheese as Lacey but you know how it is so this is her sausage and burger mix of course it's gonna be way more than she needs but I'm just gonna throw a little bit on here like so 
She said, that's all right. She can eat this tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Whatever. And then she wants a few pepperonis on hers. So we'll throw a few of them on. take much because it's a little feller about like that Come back. and you know I I didn't uh, want to actually buy Canadian bacon but in America Canadian bacon and ham to me is the same thing so she wants some what we call Canadian bacon, so I'm just gonna cut some chunks off of here and throw it on there for her. Yeah, it's not round and all that fancy crap, but she don't care. She's easy to work with over here. Just like so. And now, a little bit of extra cheese. To hold it all down. At least her Abby wants her pizza to be smoked on the smoker, so that's where that's gonna go. Now I'm just gonna toss it in there for now with the low heat because I want to make mine and cook them at the same time. I'm just gonna set it in there for now. Right here. Oh yeah, I forgot to put some olives on Abby's, so I better do that before I forget or she'll be mad at me. So I'm gonna throw a couple of them on top. Hers real quick. Alright, so now I uh, I'm gonna do my cheeseburger pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna put some Thousand Island down for my sauce. I don't know if that's gonna be amazing. I think it will be because I like Thousand Island. It's kind of like a Big Mac. I think that's basically what they put on a Big Mac. Some pizza blend, mozzarella, pretty much uh, provolone, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Throw that down. Now I like to have big chunks of my meat. Left them big and chunky. So put them on there. Alright, that should be alright. And then, uh, like I said, I left these pieces of onion kind of round and big. So I'm just going to put them around the circle like so and try to get a little bit of everywhere. Alright, now the tomato. Put it right inside the onion, maybe, see if that works good. tomato than I thought I would need honestly I figured that would happen okay then I got some cheddar and jack mix cheddar jack mix cheese that I'm gonna throw on top just to kind of hold it down for a minute not too much on top yet got some hamburger dill chips those gotta go on there. I gotta have some pickle on my cheeseburger. I love it that way anyway. Alright, that's probably plenty of pickles for now. Alright, then uh, a little bit more of this cheese to hold everything down good. crazy oh maybe it's crazy I don't know I say just a little bit of cheese but then I put a whole bag on it all right so in the smoker I'm gonna bump it up to about 450 degrees and I think it's gonna be about 8 10 maybe 12 minutes oh, I'm gonna keep an eye on it so I throw it in and we're gonna get them cooking 
Well, look at that. Chicken Alfredo pizza. Actually looks really good. But she cooked it, I just built it. So give her the credit for the cooking job. So uh, I don't know if she feels like doing a taste test in front of you. Probably not, she's not in the mood, but I'll just tell you, she's gonna love it. How's that? Work? So you never got to see when I put it in the smoker. So let's just take a look real quick. Take a look at it. Looks pretty good. It's melting. It's gonna be a little bit, but it's going. All right, so I've had these pizzas in here about 12 minutes ish. I think the little one is pretty much done. I think it'll be how she wants it. Pull that one. I'm gonna go mine. Uh, the bigger one's gonna be a little bit crispier, but there's a meat pizza with olives and cheese. Looks pretty good. I think she'll like that. Just a little little feller. So that ought to make Abby happy. So a uh, couple minutes we'll be pulling the other one out and we'll try that out for a test taste. All right, I've had it on there about, I don't know, 15, 18 minutes. I think it's the uh, crispiness that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off of here. Got plenty of smoke on there. Looks good to me from here. Booyah. Tell me I don't look like a big juicy cheeseburger with all the fixings. Now, a lot of people put lettuce on there, but I opted not to do the lettuce today. So I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit. We'll slice it up, put a little bit of something else on there that I like, and we'll take a taste and we'll show what we think. All right, I got her all sliced up. Take another good look at it before I put my special toppings that I would put on any bacon cheeseburger. We're gonna put some ketchup. Like so. And I'm a mustard dude, so I'm putting some mustard on there as well. All right. Tell you what, this smells like a pizza, looks like a cheeseburger, it's gonna taste like a cheeseburger, and looks like a pizza. If that makes any damn sense. So, let's take a taste. Alright, so I know the lighting ain't great, it's getting a little late, but that looks pretty good. Let's try it out. I love it. Tastes just like a cheeseburger. Mm. A little sloppy, but that's how I like it. It's pretty good. Well, today is uh, kind of like a buffet pizza day. Everybody was in a mood for pizza and you know, can't go out to eat no more. So you always get screwed in the drive through So I didn't want to do drive up and grab your pizza and run home. I just figured I'd just make some. So in my book, this is just as good, if not better. But tell me what you think of pizza on the smoker. I love it. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, now's a good time to do that. If you're new to my channel, please hit the notification so you don't miss a thing. And I'll tell you what, just like always, I'm hungry. I'm Jimmy Eats. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat. Thanks. Have a great night. I just have to say, this is the best damn pizza I think I've ever made. No joke. This is killer. Try it at home.